The material landscape has evolved significantly to deal with sustainability over the last probably five or ten years. Uh, we've seen an explosion in the number of uh, different types of sustainable materials that are offered, whether it's recycled content, bio-based or waste materials. There's certainly a lot more availability now than there was in the last few years. You've probably been hearing an awful lot about circular economy on top of sustainability, and that has changed the conversation slightly. Whereas previously, carbon footprint was the main or primary concern for lowering environmental impact, now with circular economy, we're more interested in how can the materials that we're choosing have a much more circular path. Thinking about their initial creation as raw materials through, through design and production through to use, and then at the end of their life, where can they go next? Is there a second or third life for them? Our vision when it comes to reducing environmental impact and waste has always been design and materials. Design so that the product is efficient, uses the minimum amount of materials, but also how do we then take the product apart so that then the individual constituents can then be recycled, reused again. For many years, the perceived wisdom was that the consumer was not willing to pay extra for sustainability. And I would have agreed with you perhaps two or three years ago. But now, a new generation of consumers really are willing to spend that extra dollar to learn more about the product, to align their values with the brand's values. So they are willing to spend more and also to consider more about what your product is made of, how it's made, and the journey it's taken to get to them. One great example has been Allbirds. Its use of bio-based uh, materials Things such as um, bamboo, such as castor oil beans, and also uh, sugarcane has meant that as part of its brand value, it's been able to promote these sustainable choices. Consumers have very much responded to this, and even the, the manufacturers of the materials themselves have actually seen increased market share as a result of their materials being incorporated in these shoes. So given all this new information on sustainability and circular economy, what can a brand or producer do next? Well, of course, you know, we would love to help, for us, it's very much about education. Your consumer is going to be a lot more educated about this, so it's imperative that you are too. What are some of the new materials out there? What are some of the new processes that you can use that can reduce environmental impact? Overall, what are some of the other brands doing that you could perhaps take from and, and learn from? 